Hi there, how are you doing? Welcome to Saral Gyan. Have you ever tried to insert a new row to an existing pandas data frame? I recently found that inserting a new row to a pandas data frame is not as easy. So in this video, we will be learning not one but three methods of inserting a new row to an existing data frame. We will also learn to insert the new row at a desired index. So don't forget to watch this video till the very end. Before jumping in, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do it and also hit the bell button for notifications. This will keep us motivated and we'll keep on producing more helpful videos for you. Let's start coding. For the purpose of this video, I am using Jupyter Notebook, but you can use any other text editor too. So here are my snippets. First of all, we'll import pandas as pd. Then I have created two pandas series, S1 and S2. And then I will create a data frame. I have covered Panda series and Panda data frame in detail in this post. You can learn to create Panda series and data frame from scratch from this post. I will leave the link in the description below. Now we need to append this row to our data frame. First of all, we will be using dot lock for appending the data frame. So we will be doing df dot lock minus one is equal to new underscore row so now this have inserted the new row at the bottom of our data frame but if you look at the index the index is minus one we can set it by doing df dot reset underscore index and drop is equal to true now our data frame has index from zero to two in the second method we will be using pandas dot concat so let's delete these rows and for that we will be converting this new row into a data frame for new underscore df is equal to pd dot data frame and we'll be creating data frame of the new row and columns with equal to calls and let's run it so now we have a new data frame and we want to append this data frame to the existing data frame and for that we will be doing df is equal to pd.concat and then we will passing the data frames as a list and if you have a look here the new pandas data frame has preserved the index of the row but you can reset the index while using pd.concat by saying ignore underscore index is equal to true now we'll have to rerun all of these commands and now if you have a look at the data frame it has index from 0 to 2 by using pd.concat you can also insert the new row at the very top but you have to change the order here new underscore df and df let's restart and run all so now 789 is at the very top now in the third method we will be using np.insert to insert a new row to a pandas data frame the major advantage of using np.insert is that you can insert a new row at an arbitrary or a desired index in the data frame let's do it for this we'll be again deleting these rows because we don't need them so we'll have to import numpy as np and then we will be creating a new data frame by using df.pd data frame and here we'll be inserting np.insert df.values and then here we will be declaring the index for the new row let's add it at index one and then new underscore row and access is equal to zero let's have a look at the data frame df let's rerun all so here our data frame doesn't have columns so we will have to columns is equal to calls let's rerun it kernel restart and run all so here is our new data frame 
Lastly, I want to show you that we can also insert the new row at a desired index by using pt.concat. Let's delete these rows. And we will again have to convert it into a data frame. New underscore df is equal to pt. Dot data. New underscore row columns is equal to calls. Now while creating a new data frame, we will be using slicing. So we will be doing pd dot concat and here we and then we will be adding new df and then we will be adding df lasso and ignore underscore index is equal to true since we are using df it has used the old data frame so let's restart it so now our new row has been inserted at index one and we have used pd.concat and slicing for this. Hope you have liked this video. If you have enjoyed our video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for future notifications. Thanks for now.